Right, good morning everyone. Uh, Matt from London calling here again. Lovely day today. Back in Pethkos still. Gonna um, take a walk down to the beach, have a quick swim, try and liven myself up. But the weather's lovely again. It's about, I don't think it's as hot as yesterday. Someone told me yesterday it was 42, but I don't think it was quite as hot as that, but it was really hot. I think it may have been in the late 30s. But uh, yeah, it's another beautiful day. I'll tell you what. Very peaceful, look. Just what, I mean, just what you needed after the lockdown. But as I say, yeah, don't listen to the media, please. We'll just get out of here if you can. And get some dirt cheap flights at the moment. You know, it's a little bit of hassle at the airport, but it's nothing, it's nothing too much. It's like, if you fill a couple of forms, you know, you have to get a printout form, as I said before, and then um, nothing there, just quick, a quick look, and that's it, really. As long as you follow the guidelines, there's no, no hassle at all. The bloody media is just blowing everything out of proportion. It's causing a lot of damage to all these economies. Apparently in roads, they've only had one death from COVID. And that was an American woman. She's an American Greek woman that came home from America. She was sick anyway. She was very, um, she was on death's door apparently anyway. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. In my opinion, they've overreacted. Especially now. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, so... It just feels that way because the Greek people are saying it as well. They feel like they've been shutting the economy down. It's just crazy. I think the politicians are getting a power kick out of it, honest, to be honest with you. That's my rant over. <laughs> Let's get down to the beach. I not had anything to eat yet. I was up till about four in the morning last night because um, I met this couple. They were quite interesting, but they were into mediumship and all that. He said he was a medium. You know, it's one of those guys. Uh, but they're very interested in a long chat with him. His girlfriend was Polish. She was really lovely. But he was very showbiz. <laughs> it was funny. There you go. This bit here, you can see. Apparently this is the bit now I was talking to you about yesterday. Well, this guy up here who owns these Andres apartments. This is where we're staying, look, Andres apartments. He owns um, this guy here, Andres apartments. Here's your, here's your details, Pepcos, if you want to get in touch. Anyway, he owns a, he owns a plane, he used to have a plane, it's like a small, I don't know, like a biplane thing. And um, he owns a place called the Flyers Club there. Apart from owning the apartments and other things, I think he's well established on this island. And he's got a little runway somewhere, I can't think where it is now. And he just runs it down the plane and takes off, it's only a short run. I think it's, where is it, it's here somewhere. But apparently he's moved the plane now, he's going to get a, he's going to get a sea plane because um, he wants to land it on the sea then to take off and take people for flies around, fly people around but he said he has to go for his license every year, every November he has to go for a test, get his license renewed. And the mad thing is he can have a plane and just take off from here, somewhere, I can't I'll see if I can find the runway, it's like a little dirt road. I do remember the plane used to be here, it's probably that, that little bit there, I think. Doesn't look like it could be, but it apparently just takes off and swims straight over there and he's off. He used to have a windsock there, he's gone. Because I haven't been here for about 11 years, I kind of forgot, but now it's all coming back a bit. I've totally forgotten what it was all, all about Pefkos, because I haven't been here for, since Terry, my friend, is with us. He had his wedding here at, down in um, St Paul's Bay, in Lindos, near, which is beautiful. Well, the beach is fairly busy today, look. So much for uh, no one's coming here. Getting busier actually, it wasn't like this yesterday. But basically, perhaps a lot of people came in. Well, our flight was a Wednesday flight, so as I say, I got it for 100 quid. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Last minute. Yeah. Oh man, what a lovely day. A nice bit of. Um... Oh, you went in there last night, that's where we were drinking in that pub there. It's a restaurant, Crit Critamaro. We had a, we had. Only thing is, everything closes at 12 at the moment, which is all right. I mean, if you don't want to, if you're into late nights, don't come here. If you're, you know, there's still bars open, plenty of bars in the restaurant, you just have to go out early, you know. But it's good because it makes you get up in the daytime, whereas in the past, you used to go out, you'd be out drinking till two or three, and you end up sleeping in the day when we were younger. It's crazy. I'd rather do this, I'd rather be up early, and well, it's not too early today because I was out late actually talking, talking to those people, but. We weren't drinking. Oh, 
I'm gonna go and test this camera in the water now. I want to see if it works. Wish me luck because it probably won't look at the enemy camera. No, it does, it's, it's designed for that. So they say, let's go and see. Okay, follow me down. Look at that, that's the sand, look. Oh, it's bloody hot. Oh, it must be, it's in the late, it's in the 30s. Yeah, one minute you're in freezing cold England, next minute you're, boom, three hours you're here. Let's put my towel down here. Base camp. Yeah, you know, base camp. Try and get in that sea. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'll turn it off for a minute. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Don't listen to me. 